All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Red Dead 2. Let's, uh, let's go talk to Sadie. She might have something to say about our newly found condition. problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Awama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Well, that's good. Follow me. Where are we headed? So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, I think he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So, I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkertons showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. You just been hunting them? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she's a beauty, do. ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Oh. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. Mm. Wish us luck. 
I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope and hope for the best. Dear Lord, crashed twice. You boys have fun. Shut up. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Yeah, it sounds Keep like going, it. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Well, I'm pushing as much as possible. I'm trying to get us up there. It's weird how slow this thing feels like Keep it moves, going. but You're doing technically we're probably ascending really quickly. Very good. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. Did she uh, now? Plenty of those. She did, did she? <laughs> she just likes fucking with, doesn't she? Author and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, we're getting a little high now. Or just a thick one. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. <laughs> well, just say the word. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. Sure. It doesn't so, really feel like I'm going ask, forward. What got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. <laughs> I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. And who would you say See is that the man who up ahead said on that? The island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Uh, besides the Mr. fact Morgan, that I don't entirely know what I'm doing, this is what I'm here for. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? 
Look, this isn't funny, Al. What on earth are you doing? The gods are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. There's one group. There's two in that. There is one in that field too. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. Okay. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. We look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That ain't John. Wait, is that, is that him? him? Yep, that's him. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. My god. Time to get out of here. They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! This is absolutely insane. Sorry, guys. Oh, my lord. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwest, ah. so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord. My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy it. All right. Hey, say it! Up here! Yeah, I can see! Shit, there are Christmas. Mrs. Abba has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Oh my god! There we go. Yeah, especially right now. What a day! All right, Sadie. Come 
Why don't you try climbing too? Kill Cone? Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. By God, she's crazy. <laughs> she's insane. All right, got some oregano. Lovely. Let's loot some of these O'Driscolls. 
try to get out of here before the, uh, you know, the local law shows up. Because they always do. So where am I heading? Nowhere? Oh, we got a couple of things up, up north. Alright, let's head up to uh up here then. What the fuck? Jeez. Right, let's cook. Let, let's eat something. see I think that was Mrs. Downs. I wanna to check to see if we got any new guns. Boom. Well hello. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yeah indeed. What were you looking for today? Probably gonna we'll sleep find here as the well best too. in here. Lancaster Lich Field is still locked. Don't really need the pump action. The lever action is, or repeated, is still locked too. Okay. You know what? Let's actually. I think we only have one of these. Yeah, let's grab a second. You can defend on this. Please, keep looking if there's something else you need. You got any room? The room is yours for the night. It is ready for you now. Thank you. Take care, man. Let's give Arthur till morning.
Is that? Oh, that's. Is this rain or snow? This looks like snow. I didn't know it snowed anywhere outside of the mountains. I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I. This country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son? This is down. Where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, foremen don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with... Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Go to the mine, okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, allergy season started. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey. all right. oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh, all right, you bastard. Uh, 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 let me go. Uh, 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 who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Yo, what happened to the weather? Oh my god, that was quick. Alright, there's also this up north. Let's go see what that is. Sadie's mission is in right, position, so we can go Do see her uh, soon. We also got a couple of things out of the damn uh, at camp. Something for Strauss and something for, uh, I'm assuming the letter is Mary.
let's go see. It's pretty far up north, too. Oh my god! I just gave medicine as a reaction. Shit. Should have gave him the whiskey. Good skunk pelt. Nice. I didn't even kill that wolf. I just... I think I sort of grazed it. It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if... if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Oh, Tell that's me, sweet. you ever Come skin on. an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. Ooh. It was horrifying. 
He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yeah, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Tracks. Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. There. Look. Grab it. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Oh! oh. Got it. Oh! Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. There you go. It, it worked. All right. All there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, it really ain't such a bad spot. Got a good water source, it's remote, but we can survive here all right. It's a really good spot. I have no doubt yeah. that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. <laughs> Well, let's get you inside before the storm gets any... Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Wolf, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my... My husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Grab your rabbit. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. <laughs> oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. It'll get better with time. Especially if you insist on living out here. But you got a nice setup. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm 
dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. Sounds good. You take care, man. All right, we did a good deed for the day, and we might get, have some wolf pelts if I can find them. Let's let's see about the other one. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Poor wolf pelt stow. So that means that's a good carcass. But can we sell it anywhere? There's nowhere close by that has a place we can put it except for camp. So we'll take it back to camp. She's all right out here, but I mean, it's it's pretty well hidden, but near a good town, so she can always go into town if she needs bullets or something, and hunt for her food, and kind of be kept out of it for everything else. Willard's Rest, it's called. But what is... What's ES? Oh, that's ED. Yeah. It'll still be there by the time we leave camp.
your youth will bloom. Oh, Lord. And it's a horror worth living. Morning. Ah, long dead. Jesus Grimshaw. Morning. All right, let's talk to Strauss. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Strauss. How are you? About, about how I look. Okay. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are, well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't. Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... figure. Figure, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, well... We've got a few things on the put on our ta uh, plate now, so when we return, we're gonna figure those out. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already and you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.